Welcome back to another Honkai Impact 3 video. It's your homie Cody GT and my boys. I do have a gameplay video I wanted to go ahead and do today. But before we go ahead and do that gameplay video, I want to go ahead and show some of the supplies because I am going to go ahead and summon at the end of the video. So make sure to go ahead and stick around so you can go ahead and see the summons on that. And I'll specifically show what summons we're going to go ahead and do today because there's a new focus supply that did drop but we're not going to summon on that we're actually going to go ahead and summon on the uh well i meant to say did i say expansion or did i say focus i think i said focus i'm not too sure it's been a long day <laughs> there is a new focus supply that did drop but we're not going to summon on that because we have the oath of judah and we have um the new amid and it's a very low chance that i'll get either the top or bottom so i'm not really i'm gonna go ahead and summon on that but for the focus or the expansion i don't know why i keep saying focus for the expansion supply i thought i would just go ahead and summon one more time it is about to go ahead and leave so i figured let's go ahead let's summon one more time on this one just to see what we will uh get and we're also going to do some summons on the event uh, supply here as well as I've got 15 of those keys so I figured why not let's go ahead and use that in today's video but before we go ahead and summon like I mentioned I do have a gameplay I wanted to show today so if you enjoy the video you like what you see go ahead and drop a like it's greatly appreciated it means a lot to me and if you're new to the channel you enjoy the content you like what you see go ahead and su consider subscribing for more content like this and much more in the future and remember to hit the notification bell to stay notified every time I upload a new video or go live now with that out of the way we're gonna go ahead and jump into the gameplay and what we're gonna go ahead and show off in today's video is we're gonna go ahead I'm sure the title and the thumbnail spoiled it we are going to take on the god herself god Kiana the queen herself in today's video on floor 10 so as you can see just as a um, just as proof that I have completed all 10 floors you can see the check mark there um, I do really quickly let me go ahead for a another proof as you can see I have the emblem um, right there as well to go ahead and prove that I have completed this floor so we're gonna go ahead and take on the floor today because there may be some people out there that has tried to take on the floor and have not been able to go ahead and complete it um, they may be struggling with it or you just want to see how I go ahead and take care of it. Okay, there is notifications. Don't know why there's notifications <laughs> popping up. There's always a notification that pops up in my videos. Can never go through a video without notifications. So, like I was saying, um, there may just be some people that want to see me go ahead and take on the floor. Whatever the case may be, I thought it would be a fun video to go ahead and show you today so the melee elemental damage is increased by 500 percent you're taking on the queen herself god kiana and the team that i use to go ahead and take this stage on is uh the combination of six serenade yamabuki armor and shadow knight now this is the team i use to go ahead and complete this stage and the subsequent stages before this as well this team just really did a lot of work for me so i just kind of kept along with it now um, the two main damage dealer is going to be Six Serenade and Shadow Knight. Yamabuki Armor is there for some time fracture and really that's about it. Nothing else to be quite honest. Oh, and to provide the shield also. I almost forgot that. So I'm going to show off Six Serenade's equipment as well as Shadow Knight's equipment. I'm not going to show off Yamabuki Armors because that's just not important for this stage alone. So we have the Tranquil Arius and we do have it maxed out for the weapon for Six Serenade. Um, we also have the Stigmatas maxed out and we have the full Nohim set. So that is fantastic right there. Now moving on to, oh, I could have just clicked over right over to Shadow Knight. She was right there. Um, right over to Shadow Knight, we do have the maxed out uh, Nuada's Grief Gauntlets. Um, so that is that. And then we have the Monet Top maxed out, the Darwin Mid maxed out, and the Monet Bottom maxed out. So there you go as far as the equipment and the build that I have for my two Valkyries that are gonna be my main damage dealers. And what I did is I went ahead and took a six serenade friend. As you can see, we have one right here because the elemental damage, we get a buff of 28% and we're gonna take 24% less elemental damage, but that's not really important. We're really here for just the buff. So with that being said, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna jump straight in to the fight. Now, in the comments below, let me know if you completed all 10 floors 
And if you have, let me know the team build you used or what really helped you out the most. Um, now, let's go ahead and get... I love how it says enemy power level over 9,000 detected. That is, if you know, a Dragon Ball reference. <laughs> if you did not know. So, we're going to go ahead and take her on here. So, hopefully, I get it completed in this first run here. Hopefully, I don't run into any issues. But, who knows? I may. That's why I wanted to prove... That I went ahead and got it done um, so just in case I don't get it done here I got proof okay so I'm probably gonna be pretty quiet for most of this run as I'm just gonna be focusing so I do apologize if I don't speak much but it is what it is gotta focus okay so basically right now just trying to go ahead and get Shadow Knight's ultimate here, which we're almost there. And I like to build up a bit more ultimate than just the bare minimum. Okay. Oh, no. I'm about to run out of power. <laughs> Battery. That's always something too, right? Okay. Okay, so making a few mistakes already. <laughs> okay. So just going to try and build that special back up. Okay, thought I dodged that, guess not. Alright, we're going to go ahead and do that right there. And then we'll take out 6 serenade, do some more damage here. I should have dodged, there we go, got the dodge, okay. Alright, we'll go ahead and do Yambuki's Armors QTE again. All right, get a few dodges there. Okay, so let's go ahead and do the special. Drop the special down. All right, we're going to bring out Six Serenade because she has her ultimate. So we're going to do the ultimate really quickly. Get some good damage there. Okay, if I can get some dodges in, that'll be great. Okay, gonna do the ultimate. Almost there, couple more hits before I die. And there we go, my boys. First run, that is what I'm talking about. That is absolute fire so that's 
how I went ahead and completed floor 10 to go ahead and get the emblem and complete all the Hershiser file floors. So that is what I'm talking about. I was afraid I was not going to be able to complete it on the first try. I thought I was going to run into some issues. Oh, here we go. Cutscene. I almost forgot about that cutscene. All right, so there you go, my boys. I hope you found that slightly entertaining, and I hope you found that slightly informative. If you did, go ahead and drop a like for that win on the first try, as well as go ahead and hit the subscribe button if you like that content, especially if you're still with me, as we're going to go ahead and jump into the summons at this point. And comment below and let me know your team build, um, or let me know if you're still having a hard time um, what I can go ahead and kind of give you more information about when it comes to that so with that being said let's go ahead let's jump straight into the summons we're gonna go ahead and summon right here first and we're just gonna do some 10 pulls and then we're gonna go ahead and jump over to the expansion supply and we're gonna do a quick multi so if you do not know with the expansion supply I have been pulling pretty much hot garbage I have not been pulling anything good I've been pulling Honkai cores which I guess that's okay as far as the Honkai cores go Hey, we got a Phoenix Fragment. I'll definitely take that. But I mean, outside of that, we're not pulling the weapon we want, um, which would be the Blooded Saints or the Hand of Tear Cannon. So we haven't pulled either one of those, which is kind of odd, as they are, the, at least for the Blooded Saints. Hey, we got some crystals. At least for the Blooded Saints, it's the up drop rate, and that's not happening. And we have not pulled either one of the Stigmas that are in here, which is odd as well as its up drop rate for them. Haven't pulled any of them. Um, as you can see, we're on the 17th, or um, the guaranteed weapon or stigma is within 17 pulls. So um, we pulled a couple of times on here and still haven't gotten anything. But let's go ahead. We're jumping straight into the multi. Let's see if we can pull absolute fire today. Let's see if we can pull something awesome. Hopefully. Hopefully. But we'll see. We'll see. Okay, so nothing there. Now the guarantee was at the end, so we're going to see if that holds true and this multi here nothing so far we got some twin ether crystals um we got the kira top some broken handle all right we got the willow and some more soul crystals some more ether crystals i will definitely take that some more twin ether crystals there we go some treasure and the colt anaconda ex and my boys okay there we go finally one of the stigmas that are featured on here finally i mean that only took how many pulls um but let's see i haven't actually took a, a hard look at the mid so let me actually take a look at the mid now the zoro set in of itself to me in my opinion is a fantastic set um it's really good for huntress Callan, but also down the road um it should be really good for umbral rose when she comes to the global side of Honkai in pack three. So this is a set that I do want to go ahead and obtain. Um, it's just been, I don't know. It's just been taking me a lot of pulls to go ahead and just obtain one. But let's see here. The skill gain 25% crit damage after ultimate evasion, gain an additional 10% crit rate for five seconds, triggering this skill again, recess the duration. That is actually quite phenomenal. Um, and then the set skills got a bit of a paragraph for the two and the three set, not as much, but with that being said, the mid is actually really good. I like that as far as that skill goes, and I will definitely go ahead and take that. But with that being said, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you liked what you saw. If you did, again, once more, go ahead and drop a like, comment below, subscribe if you're new, and remember to hit the notification bell. With that being said, I'm going to get out of here. Remember to stand out, be different, have fun, go further beyond in everything that you do. And until next time, my boys, until next time, it's your homie Cody GT, and I'm out.